I wanted to watch it right away. I, yeah, I, I haven't seen it yet though. They're just, it's all out. Like you can watch the yeah. entire series, right? And all of them are pretty short. Like I honestly think that I might have finished it, but the show's so weird mm -hmm. that each episode kind of feels like a pilot episode. How weird. Well, yeah, because it's the big thing about Pete Davidson's show is that like what it's a, uh, it's a, like about like it's inspired by like curb your enthusiasm and stuff and like yeah the show is called bub kiss which literally means nothing or it's like translates to like nothing it's just like a slang yeah kind of so it's, but it's nothing very show. it's kind of like it's very much like king of staten island but you can tell that at least king of staten island had judd apatow and even though he overstays his welcome you know and like his movies are very very long at least like he has like a grasp of the subject matter like Pete Davidson just having to be by himself, like him being in full control. It doesn't yeah. even seem like he understands himself too much. So a lot of the show is just fucking depressing. Yeah. Like it's not like King of Staten Island where they're like, like there's some moments in that they're really funny. This is just, it's just fucking sad. <laughs> it's just really, really sad. You just feel bad for him. And also the fact that Joe Pesci's in it, but Joe Pesci and Edie Falco and they have nothing to do is just kind of like, Especially Joe Pesci. That's the like the first episode. He like tries to get him laid, and that's mm -hmm. like his biggest arc right there. And like he's like dying of some sort. Mm. But definitely, I will say, a weird show. Like like just like everything that I've ever watched of Pete Davidson's, it is like hits hits just too close to home. So I don't know if it's like something where like just right now I just didn't need to watch that, <laughs> <laughs> or. Or if it's just genuinely just a misguided mess of a show. Yeah. But who knows? Interesting. And you're we'll pretty excited goes. about that, right? You're excited about that show? Especially well, because of Joe Pesci? Yeah, Joe Pesci was like the main the main did thing. You, did you see uh, Pete Davidson? I think it was on Jimmy Fallon or someone. He's talking about the show. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he's like, how did you get all these people? And Pete Davidson's just like, I just called them. Like, people yeah. don't just call them. They just assume they're going to say no. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty funny. So the fact that he managed to get Joe Pesci, even though there's, like, so little for him to do, just shows, I guess, like, that people really like like him and like working with him. Even yeah. though there's an entire episode dedicated to how awful that he is on set. It's a weird show. Who, it's Pete a fun, Davidson? It's, yeah. Oh. it's fucking weird dude it's a weird it's like legit one of the and like the the episode where they're like he's like filming this movie he dies in the first 10 minutes and it's some mm -hmm. like huge movie it's like is he talking about the suicide squad oh right now? probably and how, yeah. and how upset that he was that he got to he thought that he was gonna have like a huge part oh he's gonna be with all these like really cool actors yeah. and then he finds out that, he, that he's gonna die and so he like goes off to his bowling alley and finds drugs and then he like gets fucked up instead of being it's fucking it's like a lot of it's like are you are there like there are not enough jokes <laughs> in, like, there, like seriously there are not enough jokes in. there's not enough like laughter like it's this just is like, just his therapy <laughs> literally it's like people are talking about bo's afraid it's just like oh i don't want to watch that because it's just this dude who needs therapy and then you watch this and it's like oh man dude <laughs> jesus christ i just yeah. watched this dude have a fucking breakdown for for a few hours yeah uh, I still, yeah, I'm interested in seeing that. I'm going to probably watch that soon. That's Bob Kiss on Peacock now. Peacock. Peacock? Yep. That's crazy. All, that it's all out. That's crazy. I didn't know Peacock did that. I thought they were a weekly mm -hmm. release type of streaming service. Yeah, no, they usually are. You can tell that they probably, this is probably, I don't see this show going on for too much longer. I mean, like, no, nah, not really. I mean, like the episodes are just like, I don't know. It's It's weird. Like maybe like if they like, if they, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't I know have no idea. Going. It's it's an odd it's an odd show. I, I'm very curious what you think about it. I'm curious what a lot of people think about it. I haven't looked yeah. at any any reviews or anything. Yeah, it just it's came a, out, so there's probably not a lot of reviews. Oh, and I will say the absolute worst episode, which the, it was the one episode I was excited for, had Simon Rex in it, who's Dirt Nasty, who's in oh, Red yeah. Rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That episode is I I don't even i don't know i have no idea it's like making fun of fast and furious but it's you're really movie. intriguing me now i gotta watch this you should <laughs> i want you to watch it very very badly because i i don't even know if i finished the show that's how weird the show is i don't even know if i if i yeah. watched all the episodes interesting wow maybe yeah. yeah i guess yeah i i guess i haven't seen much about it either i've just assumed it was going to be good because they did show that one footage of joe pesci singing and i was like that looks pretty good 
But yeah, that's, that's that's all seen, I've seen really. So that's in the first episode. That that seems pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> Just none of it plays out like you wanted it to, I guess. No, not really. I mean, like, probably... there are some good moments, but I yeah, just so far what I've seen is just fucking it's just either just the only thing people need to check on pete weird. davidson <laughs> people need to check on pete davidson like yeah. and didn't wasn't there a thing where, where while they were filming like he had a mental breakdown i totally understand yeah. why yeah he's, he's just reliving all of his traumatic yeah. moments in his life he's just yeah he's he's yeah no it's it's an it's a have you seen john mulaney's uh new special yes which like that it? one oh yeah i did i like <laughs> that one a lot i would say watching that and then watching this show it just shows like a quality and like a writer like i think pete davidson is a funny is a funny guy and he's a pretty good performer but he needs like better writers i don't know like because john mulaney he manages to talk about all that stuff but i'm like laughing my fucking ass off (laughs) yeah and maybe it has something to do with like it being translated to like a a tv TV show show. or something i'm not sure things because he i mean I barely remember Pete Davidson's stand-up specials. I think he has like what two or something like two. Yeah, he has. Yeah, I think he has two. Like he had a Netflix yeah. one and he had a Comedy Central. Comedy one. Central one. Yeah. And I don't remember them that much, and it makes me wonder if that's yeah, if he's his writing is just not super memorable like that. I mean, yeah, he's always self-deprecating, but yeah, it's like he's not like John he's Delaney. such a charismatic. I'm talking about Pete Davidson. He's a charismatic performer, but like mm-hmm. he doesn't really say or do much. That's like really stand out stand out it's stand a lot that stands out holy shit that, that's, <laughs> yeah that took a lot <laughs> i agree because like i don't remember his stuff but i know he's done stuff like his own yeah. solo stuff so but it proved it, it's shown like with big time adolescence and with 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 uh jason orley who directed that yeah. movie directed most of the episodes of Bob kiss okay so you'd think you know like but and like there are once again there it's not a terrible show but you can you can tell with those movies when like there's like actual like good writing and there's a good person in the helm that knows how to like ring him in, mm-hmm. then they, you can get good stuff out of him. Even with bodies, 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 he's not in it that much. But there's that one scene where he like flips out where it's like, okay, that's good. You can yeah. tell that like he's got some good, he's got some range. But then I don't know. He like if he's just like if he's the one that's like running shit. I wonder if everyone's just like yeah, walking on eggshells around him, where they're like if they direct him too much to go in a direction that the the director wants. Like we trust mm-hmm. Jason Orley, but like I wonder if they're he's like against it because he's like everyone's kind of like oh we don't want to mess with his actual life because everything that he does is so personal. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too, especially with the show. It's yeah. definitely like you can tell that he there he's probably surrounded by a lot of yes men. Or and, not even yes men, just not no men. <laughs> right. There is one scene that's really funny though, where he he's asleep and his mom wakes him up and he says, Ye no. <laughs> <laughs> that part of me laughed. And I, I had a I had a replay because I was like, did he just say that? And then I kept up playing it. I was like, oh, that's funny. Because they never mention any of his girlfriends, like oh yeah. That's uh, for season two. Name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But but they do like they have references. Like his his mom is like uh, he was engaged once. Look how that turned out. Oh. Okay. And yeah. But yeah, interesting show. Let's uh, move on. Yeah, I gotta watch that. <laughs> that just came out. Um. Yeah, I want you. I want to. I'm very curious what you think about it. 